Class, in this uh, video we're going to demonstrate another function, a custom function, called ret pause diff. This one is uh, has a similar function to the previous video. We're going to determine the positive difference of two numbers a and b, but instead of printing the positive difference, we're going to return the positive difference. You can see that we're doing that here with an if expression. If a is greater than b, we'll return a minus b. Well, if that's true, then that's what will be returned. Return immediately finishes or completes a particular a function that you're calling, and so the code will never get to this line. It will get to this line, of course, if, if this condition is false. So this will properly return the positive difference of these two numbers. Now, we're going to see how we run this in main. It's a little different from a void function. This is a value returning function. And if it returns a value, when we call the function, which we're doing right there with the values 25 and 10 as arguments, we have to catch the return value in a variable, which is what we're doing right here. We're going to assign the, the return value to a variable called diff. Then we'll analyze the diff variable to see if there is a difference that's greater than zero, in which case we'll print that out. And of course, if it's not, if it's not greater than zero, the two numbers are equal, and we'll print that out as well. So let's give it a run here. And once again, let's watch the locals window down here as we run it. Okay, I'll step in. It's reading the functions first of all. Now it's going to run the main function. As, and as soon as we step into main, you can see that N1 has a value of 25 down here in the uh, locals window. And if I step through another line, you'll see N2 has a value of 10. Now look at this line. We're just about to call the return pause diff function right here and <clears throat> with uh, n1 and n2 as arguments. So watch what happens to the gray highlight as soon as I hit step. Jumps down into the function. So this line here causes the program control to jump down into this function, which is now executing. And as you can see, down in the locals window, n1 and n2 are no longer visible, but we can see our variables a and b. If I continue to step through, It'll be returned. Now, the, I have a, a second breakpoint here, and now you can see that we can also see the value of the diff variable because it has been returned from the, the function and passed into that diff variable, the return value. And of course, it is 15 with 25 and 10. So we'll just press step a few more times to finish the program. <clears throat> 